Let's do another example where we verify that a function is a solution to a differential equation. The differential equation won't look so bad, dx dt equals x squared. But its solution is a little more complicated than you might expect. I should say this is a solution, not the solution. There might to be others. Before we verify that this is a solution, let's just state one of the unpleasant facts of life in differential equations classes, which is that x is used in multiple mutually exclusive ways. In the previous video, our function was y of x, and x x was our independent variable. Here, x is the name of the function, and t is our independent variable. And that's, that's tradition. There's nothing we can really do about it. Sometimes we'll look at functions y of x, other times we'll look at functions x of t. Now, as to this claim, I guess if we want to verify it, we'd better take the derivative of this function and see whether it really is x squared. Okay, so we can use the quotient rule here. The derivative of the numerator is zero times the denominator minus, and this time we'll leave the numerator alone, and take the derivative of the denominator, all divided by the denominator, squared. In the numerator, this turns to zero. This negative sign and this negative sign cancel. And if we have our numerator squared and our denominator squared, we can write to that as this fraction squared. And this fraction is precisely x. So this is x squared, just like we wanted it to be. T here 
cannot be any real number. So there's a restriction on what this variable can be that comes from this division. We, of course, cannot divide by zero. So we need this denominator not to be zero. From which we conclude that t cannot be one divided by C. So what, if anything, does that mean? Well, it's fine because T can be in the interval from negative infinity to one divided by C, or T can be in the interval from one divided by C to positive infinity. And if we flip back a bit, to our definition of a solution, the differential equation needs to be satisfied only on some interval. It doesn't need to be satisfied on the entire real number line. So the differential equation is satisfied on this interval. In fact, it's satisfied on two separate intervals, but one interval would be enough for this to be a solution.